Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody out there on YouTube, wherever you are in the world, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope you are as nervous as I am, because those thunderclaps are something right now. Anyway, we need to finish getting the horde base completely ramped up and ready to roll. I'm really hoping that this will be sufficient, although I kind of doubt that it'll be a problem. I think this got, I think a chicken got caught on that at one point. <clears throat> now what's left is we absolutely need to get all four of these hatches made into iron hatches. We've got some more food, crafting in the, or cooking I guess, in the campfire. Um, <clears throat> and we also are going to do our best to try and stop by the trader uh, before the horde night because I think that we can get some good stuff. Now, I'm going to give myself a challenge with this horde. I'm going to try and commit to just using the blade. Emphasis on try. Because here's the thing. If things start going sideways, I'm not just going to let myself die. I'm going to get my guns out. I'm going to start defending myself. But I really want to try just doing melee. I want to see how that goes. So, <clears throat> let's see what we can do here and get prepared. All right. Let's get some more junk turret ammo. Crafting. Probably another 200. Oh, 150 rounds. And then we're going to try and go all the way out to the trader as quickly as possible. I want to sell all this stuff and see if I can buy anything that at the last second could help me. <clears throat> if he has a better blade, that's going to be the big one. And if not, no big deal. Sounds like that zombie's screwing up my spikes. But that's my fault for leaving him behind. Hey, Hugh, what's up? No loitering. I'm planning on not, trust me. Oh, he's got a compound bow, but I'm not going to buy that. That might be worth buying. Okay, tactical. Okay, anything else? Okay, let's keep that tactical AR in mind. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta buy that concrete mix for sure. Uh, we don't need anything else, I don't think, from in there. Anything in here? Uh, Pistol Pete. Craft AP 9 mil. Yeah, that's worth it. Buy the 762, and I think, as long as we have the money. Those okay. damn things are selling like hotcakes. Let's take the mods off of there. And we'll slap the barrel extender mod on this one. We'll actually go ahead and put that uh, hunter mod on this one. Here. Buy that for me, would you? I'm going to read this. Get that into our inventory. All right. And now let's bug out. We got to get out of here. About that time. Let's get ready. And I just realized what we're going to do with the junk turret is we're going to make a... Uh, a couple of shapes. <clears throat> and then we're going to put him... Let's say, like, right... There? Well, let's see if I can place him down. Oh, not from a good angle, though. Although, yeah, that's not a huge issue. Let's go ahead and optimize him this way for now. Um, and then... I don't know why I grabbed this other block. But, sure. We can also put a ladder up here, I guess. Just because we accidentally crafted another block. <clears throat> that way I can hop up here a little easier. Although, I guess I could have... Could I hop up here before? No, not quite. Cool. Well, we could probably knock out one more ladder, though, if I have my pickaxe. We'll do that some other time. But now we can climb down here, grab it, reload it, stick it back down-ish. It would actually be better to have it right there, I suppose, but... This will just help when the spikes especially go away, because they'll get back to being aggroed, and I don't want that to happen. So, now, officially, we should be ready. <laughs> All right. It's about to start. I've been watching the little laser from the junk turret, and I think he'll actually help, even with the angle I placed them at, so... Oh boy, I'm already nervous. Get up here. Oh, off to a good start. I'm out of stamina though, that's a problem. Oh, I don't know if uh, stamina may be the reason I don't get to do this. We're gonna start, we're gonna keep trying though. Basically, when I hear the first block break below me is when I'll cave. 
especially with stamina issues, though, I'm kind of wondering if it's going to work. They keep falling. We've seen the junk turrets out of ammo. All right, we better get over here and, and grab that junk turret to reload it. Uh, let's, nope, let's not use pipe bomb yet. I'm really hopeful that they don't beat on my base. That's all I'm after at this point. Come up. There we go. Already at it. Some clearing here. That'll get them from raging into my stuff. Ooh, these power hits are actually quite something. Come on. Put up that. Whoa, hey, easy. Turn my back for two seconds and Arlene was getting so eager. Okay, well, let's upgrade a little bit. There we go. Repairs. Good. Well, how's this top lock? Oh, that's fine. Uh, food and water are fine. That's good because I don't really have a whole lot of other options. Come on. Get closer so I can stab you in the eye. Thank you. Ow! You're not supposed to hit me in the eye. Stop it. We may actually need to put some more points into, like, sexual Tyrannosaurus, Flurry of Blows, or something, anyway, because this is... Stamina's becoming an issue. Trying not to get hit here. We've got some range on them. I didn't remember them being able to get this far back. That's the reason I had two hatches up. Oh, come on. Get, get down. Okay, no more jump turret. Doesn't have a whole lot of rounds in him. We might need to put the extended mod in the junk turret instead of in my pistol. Okay, grab it again. Oh, they're aggroed a little bit. That's okay. Uh, I can't hit her. Okay, let's see if we can get over here. Oh, come on. Let me hit you. Upgrades there. Yeah, we're going to start that as well. Come on. Oh, jeez. I haven't gotten any ma like major injuries at least, but get her down from there. I'm messing anything up. Ow, oh my gosh! It's every time I turn around, they literally wait for me to look. It's like the ghosts from Mario Brothers. <laughs> as soon as I turn around, they're like, ooh, fresh meat. Smell oh, like Junkie's already out of turn. There it is, again. I mean, he only holds 60 rounds at a time, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, so far we're doing okay. Let's see if we can get back to the junk turret. Upgrades, repairs before we go. Come on, don't fall off the ladder. Oh, I just want to, I want to get that lady. I don't like that she's beating on stuff. There. Aggro them. <laughs> get them back up here. Oh, come on. There we go. She's weak, bleeding pretty good. Landing pretty good shots on this particular Kenny here. It's out of stamina. That's really what's getting to me here. Now we are low on health, but I'm not too worried about it. Mo, are you gonna come over here or are you just gonna keep throttling the area there? Nice, got another skill point. Oh, oh, Arlene's in. Oh crap. Ouch. Nope. Not today. All right, they're glitching a little bit. Let's clear out the glitch zombies. All right, of course I'm infected. Let's go ahead and take an antibiotic. Close that up, close that up. More repairs, back at it. So technically challenge failed, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up completely just yet. I mean, and probably technically the junk turret kind of failed it from the beginning, but you know. 
Because that's all a matter of how you feel about it. Because the way I looked at it was I just wanted to be the one using melee weapons to try and conserve the ammo. But especially with the lack of stamina, I don't know if that's going to work out long term. You know, night seven, probably not a big deal, but... Oh, come on. Got her in the leg. They seem to be coming right back up, so far at least. Alright, let's go over here. Grab the turret. Oh, he's getting a little weak, too. Cool. Get back up top. Cool. Here we go. This is the stuff right here. This is Can he get down? Lord. Man's like, is there math up here? <laughs> I don't know if I can say that or not. At least we never really claimed it was a family-friendly channel, but can Christians do that? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Would you? Would you? Kenny, let me stab you in the eye. <laughs> it's because stabbing him in the eye is better somehow than talking about meth. <laughs> We're not doing too bad. Of course, I think the junk turret's back out of ammo. He's either out of ammo or he needs to be repaired. Goodness, they're still coming. Man, I'm gonna run out of jump turret ammo before the end of the night. All right. So far, though, we really aren't doing too bad. Considering I've been really doing something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, you know, i.e. using a blade, a level three hunting knife at that on Horde Knight, and I've used just a handful of shotgun rounds and then a junk turret. And it's a level one junk turret. It's not like it's doing a lot of damage, but really the big purpose behind it was to get them to stop aggroing when the spikes go away. You know, or getting into, I want them to aggro actually is what I want. I want them to get back up on them here. So a few things I'm already learning for Horde Knight. Next one, if we choose to use this base again, uh, we definitely need junk turret. That's good. Um, also, blade's probably not going to be an option next time. Even if I do have, like, stamina help and all that kind of stuff, I don't see that working out well. Whoops. Punching my ladder. And a little quieter. Okay, there we go. <laughs> like, I was, I was thinking maybe it was the end of the horde. Could still be, but I'm kind of doubtful. Now. Was that the end of the horde? That seemed pretty quick. Well, let's hurry and swap this. Get the mag, I think, out of the pistol. And throw it into this. Put that back down. They did take out one block there. Which is fine. All right, yeah, kind of do some repairs and then we'll put another shape in there. Uh, now, I've been thinking about doing this for a while and now that I can, I think I will. We're gonna repair everything, top everything off. We aren't gonna go back to base or anything, but we are gonna bring on another horde. I'll leave the world, especially because I exploited the first time and it was an exploit in my favor. Let's exploit in the game's favor this time where it gives me, yes, more XP for killing zombies, but it is more of a challenge as well. It's kind of a catch-22. All right, I think... Let's repair our ladder that we punched to. All right. See you in a second when we start it again. Ah, uh, shoot. Here we go again. Same challenge. Get down, bow. Am I really this badly out of stamina? Oh, it's a food issue, I think. We're getting really close to being out of food. We're out of, like, like, super hungry, I guess is what I'm saying. It's all right. It's still pretty early. I can't seem to hit any of these right now, though. All 
I think the junk turret's out of commission. Much iron do we have? Okay, let's make turret ammo again. Let's make like another 300 rounds. We'll let that go. That left us with 70. Oop. We're gonna have to be careful. Didn't realize that was gonna take that much. Whoa. Got a few kills right in a row there. Three skill points so far. Alright. Ooh, that's taking a lot of iron. Okay, let's make like, I don't know, 200. Oh my gosh. Oh, geez. Wow, I'm struggling. Getting too many buttons. That'll leave a little bit more iron, yeah, for repairs. It'll also take a little bit less time to craft all that. Get down. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> And of course, we have all these fallback hatches too. I just don't want to have to fall back if I can avoid it. Come on. Ow. What a bunch of legends, all of you. Ow. Can you get him? <laughs> Oh boy. Heard a block break. Okay, same one. Repair it. Another, I don't know, 95 rounds. Come on. There we go. That ought to help us out for a minute. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. First aid. We are going to probably have to repair our knife in a minute. Okay, it's a calm-ish moment. There we go. There we go. Perfect. You are hungry. Ah, we knew that was coming. Oh, come on. There we go. Man, if we, maybe if we just time our power swings. Oh, we're at zero stamina. That's not good. <clears throat> Get some repairs going. There's one block, but that won't ruin the structural integrity. Two or three might, but I don't know that for sure. Oh, come on. Mo, get, Mo <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Mo. <laughs> Mo was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I did not clock in for this today. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Not doing too bad. All things considered, I've only used a couple of shotgun shells and some turret ammo. Okay, speaking of turret, just realized I haven't heard it shooting in a while. What's even more amazing to me, though, is that I've reloaded this thing this many times and haven't fallen off the ladder. That would be my norm. <clears throat> Here we go. Come on. Whoops. Oh. Not much longer. We just got to hold it together. Honestly, <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised at how well this has worked out, considering. Like, yeah, junk turret was hugely helpful, but. And I don't, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't have survived without it. But definitely putting that extended mag on there was smart. Ow. 
Ow. All right, here we go. Use the new gun to finish the rest of these up. Now, one thing I don't know if I ever actually mentioned directly is that every Horde night that I survive, I will be ramping up the difficulty. The zombie difficulty, that is. So, going forward, we'll be going from warrior to whatever it is after that, which I actually don't remember, if I'm honest with you, but I'll throw it on the screen for you right now. And that'll be good until the next Horde Night. Now, I want to ask you guys, do we stay here and renovate the house over there and keep trying to use the space as long as it'll last? Or would you guys like to see me move into another city that has maybe more POIs or things like that let me know in the comments below but i think that's where i'm gonna end this episode i'm just kidding i wouldn't let you guys go without seeing the loot give me two seconds here all right so from this recog on it was all of the loot and not great but honestly not terrible either i mean it could have been a lot better for sure but it definitely could have been a lot worse as well so that is actually where I'm going to end this episode. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more of this Cardio Nightmare series, as well as the brand new first playthrough for me of Ark. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Gaming for Hope, signing off.